the real reason Drake Kendrick Lamar beefed the truth revealed. If you've been wondering what the whole ruckus about Drake and Kendrick Lamar is all about, you're welcome to our revelation party. We're not popping champagne here, but some cold and hot truth about the most expensive beef right now in the rap music industry. Expensive because them diss tracks are topping charts like a hot selling album of a rising star. The two pop stars have been on each other's neck the past few weeks with neither trying to call a truce or throw in the towel. The beef has been simmering like a big pot of pasta for years, and now the outpouring has been explosive, rocking the industry with many spills, secrets, accusations, and jabs that involve even close relatives. This is one bloody beef, freshly cut from the abattoir. They're not alone in this, in their constant insults of each other's personal lives and loved ones, other rap stars like Metro Boomin and DJ Mustard are well quite in it. Rap feuds have been going on as long as rap itself, from the likes of Jay-Z and Nas and the rivalry between Tupac and Biggie. This ain't anything new, but the level of accusations is screaming what in the world. While both Drake and Kendrick Lamar have been on one another's neck for years, their rivalry hit an all-time high when Drake released a song last October featuring J. Cole First Person Shooter, which was a part of his For All The Dogs album. Apparently, Lamar didn't like how J. Cole had called himself Drake and Kendrick Lamar the big three. He responded in a track feature on Futures Like That tearing into the number three because he ain't on the same level with both J. Cole and Drake. Drake and Kendrick Lamar have not always hated themselves or rather beefed themselves till recent times. Both rappers have enjoyed fame since the early 2010s and have also worked together in the past. For example, Lamar was featured on an interlude in Drake's 2011 album titled Take Care while Drake was also featured on the song Poetic Justice on Lamar's second studio album in 2012. Their first set of trouble started in 2013 when Kendrick Lamar got on control with Big Sean where he called out many rappers including Drake. Drake has said in several interviews that he wasn't going to be a part of the beef. He was fully filled with his beef with Meek Mill and Pusha T in 2015 and 2018 respectively, almost a decade later, and it seems Drake had not forgotten Kendrick's jab at him in control as he and J. Cole unintentionally reopened the feud by referring to the three as the big three. For a Pulitzer Prize winner, Kendrick may be right to not agree that he was on the same level. You gotta have a Pulitzer Prize to say that, and from the three, he's the only one who's got one. Kendrick continued to blow hot when referred to Drake's for all the dogs with the line for all your dogs getting buried. That's a K with all these nines he gave Sipasi Pet Cemetery. J. Cole got on the beef for a while throwing one directly at Lamar with seven minute drill from his surprise album. Might delete later, but was quick to bow out before it all got bloody and messed up. He really meant it when he said he may delete later. J. Cole removed the song from streaming platforms and said the song didn't sit right with his spirit. After Lamar's response, fans waited for Drake to return the beef, and he did with not just one song, but two push-ups and Taylor made freestyle, where he did try to put Lamar in his place by calling him a pipsqueak and saying he's stepping with a size seven men's arm. In these songs, Drake also thought it nice to drop a few lines for future Rick Ross, The Weeknd, Metro Boom, and J. Cole and NBA player John Morant. Drake had to remove Taylor made freestyle from public platforms after Tupac Estate served him a cease and desist letter for using AI-generated vocals of the legend. Kendrick Lamar's Euphoria was a sharp rebuttal released on April 30th and is filled with layered meanings and pointed critiques. The song's title appears to allude to the HBO series of the same name, where Drake serves as an executive producer. Lamar delivered a series of harsh criticisms, accusing Drake of fabricating stories and questioning his authenticity as a rapper. He targets Drake's biracial identity, calling him a scam artist and criticizing his fashion choices. Lamar was definitely cooking. In addition to Euphoria, he released 616 in LA within the same week, adding more dramatic accusations. Lamar further insinuates that Drake may have informants within his team providing him with information. In response to Kendrick Lamar, Drake raised questions about Lamar's paternity and his relationship dynamics and family matters. This is where this feud got all nasty. Drake accuses Lamar of being unfaithful and abusive in his relationship, commenting on Lamar's marriage to a woman of mixed heritage and suggesting he seeks validation through physical enhancements. Lamar is yet to directly address these allegations, but went on to talk about new things and track meet the grams just one hour after Family Matters was released. He criticizes Drake for involving his family in their feud, emphasizing the importance of maintaining dignity and respect within the music industry. Meet the Grams begins with Lamar expressing regret over being Drake's father figure. Lamar then makes unsubstantiated claims about Drake's health regimen, using photos of medication with Drake's legal name as the song's cover art. These images have not been confirmed as authentic. Lamar also touches on rumors about Drake's cosmetic procedures and his decision to keep his son out of the public eye, suggesting a pattern of hiding and deception. Woo, what's the next phase of this feud between these big men? We'll wait. Catch up with us by liking and subscribing.